Hello everyone, James here, and welcome back to the Shining Force 2 Nuzlocke. We have finally made it through a series of field battles, which are okay, but they're not really my thing. The next one, two, three-ish battles are going to actually be a bit different. They're all unique, and they're all very contained, very claustrophobic. So, this might be the first area where I have the potential to lose someone just through accident, like too many people bunched up and they get hit with a spell. Hopefully it's not Kiwi. We need him for cannon fodder later. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it. Ah, you'll come to the foot of Mount Volcano through this dark cave. But I heard this cave is home to a hobgoblin. Yes, it is. Who said that? Me, the hobgoblin. So here you can see the uh, main uh, feature of this battle. It is a dark cave and you have limited vision. Welcome to my home. Enjoy your visit, because you're not leaving. So, in this battle, the Hobgoblin is the leader. You kill him, the battle ends. Um, I probably will not be focusing on that because I need the extra XP. There's also a chest here for after the battle, which I need to remember not to forget. Okay. So, you'll notice that there is a very narrow path here, which actually has rough ground. Uh, I usually try not to send people up there, just because well, it's, it's hard to get through and it's a choke point. So, we are going to be going the side way. Hopefully Peter goes up there, though. I am okay with him going there. We have both witches and vampire bats. So there's going to be a lot of casters once we get farther on in. I gotta do something to go maze range. I don't have a running momentum yet. Oh, of course, Sarah. She's still level 7. them in a bit more. Jaha here, that, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. As much as I want to made to get some attacks, that's much too risky. There we go. Should be able to get everyone within range this turn. Also, first time with this background. Nice little cave. Hmm. I know I said I didn't want Peter getting, like, all the kills, but... He, he's actually trying to fall behind a little bit. And this is, of course, wasting. Also, this might put Sarah in unnecessary danger. He's gonna go up here and block this. Hopefully. Damage by three. Eh. Oh, Not enough to kill them, which is a problem. There we go. Ah, 
that's a big deal. That's really not a big deal. definitely remember a lot of these battles being much, much harder. I mean, I was, what, 10 or 11 when I really played this game a lot? And the Dark Dwarf, should get to level 11. There we go, level 11. knows how to prioritize. Go after the leader. Okay. Yes! Finally, the late. She should be learning blast soon. I'm not exactly sure which level that is. Okay, so, as you can see, I have him surrounded. Which means if I wanted to raise up a specific character, I would just insert them into this little circle here, and he wouldn't be able to attack them. Right now, the only one he can attack is Chester, and once I put the Bowie right here. Bowie. This should be the end of the dark. Yep, that's the end of the dark war. Might be level 13. Yep, level 13. Okay. And let's see. No hold out here. I swear these battles had more enemies growing up. Like, although. Maybe it's because I sent my guys through here. Like, I literally have a string of four guys, and there'd be one guy blocking me. And then I have a second team going over here because, you gotta remember, as I have said multiple times, I would play this with two people and we'd split up the teams, which made it harder for both of us. Probably won't get kids in at a level. Yeah, I was right. Okay, right here. I gotta figure out where everyone is now. Like, there is a witch nearby, and that bat will come down as soon as I'm roughly on this rough spot. Best to catch up. Well, I can't even say that he's he's actually going rather slow. See, you'll notice I'm trying to get bunched up right here as well. Not the best when you have a witch approaching. Let's try and uh, there we go. That's a bit better. There. So at risk now. Okay. Can Jaha? No, Jaha cannot reach the witch. Try to avoid that rough little section. It'll slow me down a bit too much. Not right there, we'll try right there. Okay, 
Okay. Freeze level one. Does an okay amount of damage. This should do about one damage. I think this is the last battle where we see the uh, goblin hunters. I don't really need to risk this heal. Like, she's gotten her one level for the turn. Or for the, the uh, battle. Take him, take her out. But it did. I gotta keep in mind that he now has the power ring on. Still, having one less uh, spellcast ring around is probably a good thing. I'm not adding to that grouping. Okay. There we go. I can start spreading out like I like I want to. really doesn't have a whole lot of health. And I don't want to lose him because he actually comes really good once he's promoted. So, the bat is gone. Take it to Goblin, hopefully. Mostly. Jaha. Never mind that that's a terrible idea. Kiwi! Eh, it's not going to get him a kill, but he'll chip away at it. Vampire bat. Yeah, that power ring um <laughs> definitely improves his attack. Oh He's pretty weak. I can probably afford him running around a little bit. kill. Oh, okay, that was a little close. Yes, Kiwi. Kiwi will get this kill. There you go. This should be level 11 for Kiwi. It is. He got one more HP! He's almost in double digits, I'm so proud. Nice. Do that about eight more times before she goes up a level. Uh, Bally really doesn't need the level, mm, but I also don't want that bat flying around anymore. How close is everyone? Hmm. Thing is, either of these spots is going to put Kiri at risk. Nope, we're going to leave him right here. 
Mm. Yeah, like I said, it's very, very confined. Just needs a little bit of healing. Yeah. Okay, good. Focusing on the leader. No one has told them yet that it's a Nuzlocke. Oh, maybe they have. Two attacks and I'm poisoned. She kind of forgot that, uh... Bats could do that. That, um... This is potentially not good. This is very not good. Okay. Things happened. Yeah, poison is another thing that hurts Kiwi more, much more than it hurts other players. Or other characters. Okay, I can get rid of that here. Any, uh, flying opponents to worry about now. Okay. I can't reach Chester, so... This is going to be the last heal, so I'm going to have to rely on Kiwi or someone to heal Chester. We're just putting Chester in the back. Like, we got this battle. Other than Bowie dying, there's no way we're losing this. Oh, wait. I still had one bat left. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Okay, Chester, let's put you back here where you can rest. You're heal it. You do have healing. You're gonna heal yourself. Excellent. I will need to restock. Oh, I... Oh, wait a second. Do, ooh, do I want to go up there, though? Not really. Slade is probably not the one for that job. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. Oh! Right. And I could have healed May. So, that would be the uh, first death of the Nuzlocke, May. She was with us for a short time. Um, didn't accomplish much of note. Doesn't have that great of an... Okay, well, she's gone. Uh, she will be missed. Of course, by the guy I got the under one. Ugh. This does put me one down the next little while, which shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. I spent way too much time just hanging out in front of this little ledge. for that. Okay. This should be one damage. It is. Let's get this battle over.
Okay, I guess I'll bring this battle to a conclusion. Hey, double di digit HP, that's always good to see. Alright, there's not gonna be a problem. Uh, Sarah, completely out of MP. Peter, still trying to catch up. Wait, wait a second, we're, s we're still in the battle. Or that that hobgoblin is actually a leader. In this okay, whatever. It's gonna be over soon enough, anyways. Yeah, I can't believe I lost May. Although I was right, I was gonna start losing people once I got into these more fine battles. Especially this one where you can't really see everything. Okay, Bowie found Silver Tank which is an upgrade for the Archer class, which, ironically, May does not qualify for because she is not technically an Archer, she is a Ranger. Okay, let's go. I think that's all I need to find in here. Before we go into the town, let's go take a look at Mount Volcano. Wow, impressive. This Mount Volcano is a volcano! Shocking, I know. Okay. Uh, how did you come to Polka Village? Through the cave? Nobody has come to this village since. Oh, you defeated that hobgoblin. Wow. Now we can use that tunnel to travel between Polka and the wilderness area. Ah, uh, yeah. Not going in there. I do need to find an item to... Heal his poison, though. Breathe deeply. Wonderful air, huh? Now, there is an item in here. Right here, I think. Protect milk. And now that I got that, we are going to do a few little upgrades. Let's see. Item. Use. Cheerful bread, which I believe heals HP. Or, not heals HP, gives him HP. We're going to give it to Kiwi. Raised by four. Now, I believe I can do two to four HP increase, so that, that was lucky. Uh, and we are going to use the Protect Milk, wherever that is. On Bowie, because we want him to be as strong as possible. Bowie's defensive power is boosted by two, which is the low end of things, but that's fine. Okay, so that's all the items for now. We're just gonna wander around and get a few things done in this village. Help, help! I can't get up! You please, turn me over! Are you a wimp? Push harder! Good, good, push! Giggle. Sorry, I had to test you. I'm happy to meet you. He must like you. Oh no, I can't tell you who he is. See you later. I'm not sure if that question's ever actually answered. Mm, I'm a little bit fuzzy, but just remember we ran into some sort of fairy in Polka Village. Oh, yeah. Mount Volcano is home to Beastmen. We were a warlike tribe, but we've almost forgotten how to fight. Okay. Okay, so this is where we're gonna get all the shopping done. I will leave that for next time. I believe most of my items or weapons can be upgraded. Uh, Pursuit? Because I'm a Beastman. Yes, when I was younger, I had no idea what her suit means. It just means he's hairy. I'm not hairy enough, though. I envy those hairy guys. Uh, to the east is the sacred area of Vulcanon. Oh, 
we got here? You're not aware, Bal Balkan has been irritated. Oh? Like that! And it's getting worse. What's wrong, you ask? Wow! Mount Volcano erupted! I'm shocked. Shocked, I say. The volcano erupted. It's an evil omen. Yeah, lava is kind of... kind of bad. Oh. Oh, yes. Uh, seizure warning. Flashing lights. All that. Yep. Oh. The Beastman checks the boy. Good heavens. He's badly injured. Mayor! Mayor! What's all this noise? Mayor! A boy from the mountain is seriously injured! What? Oh, his eyes are seriously damaged. He must have been caught in the eruption. He needs prompt treatment. Yes, bring him into my house. wonder who this mysterious stranger is, who is on the mountain. I'm sure this will not affect the plot in any way going forward. Don't you agree, Peter? Yes, Peter agrees. He's hardly relevant to the plot, and we will never hear of him again. Anyway, that was... episode 11 of this series? We have lost May. That was regrettable. Um shouldn't affect things overly poorly, I hope. Anyway, good night, everyone. Bye.